Hello everyone and welcome back to Banishers Ghost of New Eden. This is your first time here. There is a card in the should be upper right hand corner. Why don't you go check that out because it's going to be very confusing if you don't know what's happening. If it's not your first time here, hey welcome back. As you recall, we are in New England in 1695. Our wife is dead and we are in our villain arc. We are not making good choices. We are in fact doing wrong choices only. We are not the heroes of this story and we are loving ourselves for it. Except for last time. Still feel bad about last time. So with that said, let's dive back in. Okay, wrong answers only. Um... I know that our main story says to talk to Kate, but I don't think we're going to do that. I think we're going to go over to the blue side quest, because what are we if not side quest fiends? Hmm. Actually, let's... Uh, what is it? Tab? Yes. Map. I want to do this one. I would like essence, please. Give me essence. This house here. Look how stained it is. I wonder who's home. Whoa. Prudence and all things. Alright, let's uh, follow that. Kate, you're gonna have to wait a minute. I'm, I'm gonna help people here. Oh, you're just peeking in. Okay. Who oh, there inside? Anyone home? It's empty. I see quest things, but let's find loot things first. Alright, there's a lot of quest things, dang. Prudence's letter. My dear Philippa, my apologies for taking so long to write, and for the delay and delivery that must surely come. As ever, patience is key. I pray you are well and your efforts with the shop meet with great success. My letter surely comes too late to be of use, but you must know that affairs in New Eden, grave as they were, have worsened. The people have fled the town and dispersed into the wilderness. I tried my best to leave, but our group of refugees is locked by bad luck and worse weather. They are a hardy bunch, if a little dull, but they are discreet and do not question me unduly. I will come home to the father country and recount my tale in person if I ever escape this place. I have no news of our friend Alex. Sadly, when last I saw him, he was alive and well. Now, I do not know. I suppose that wherever Alex is, he still does not like us, and we still do not like him. As for me, I like my neighbors well enough, for what they are. As you know, they are not a sympathetic people. No matter. Forget New Eden, my dear Philippa. Abandon it. Advance our ambitions elsewhere. Please accord me the honor of accepting, dearest sister, my most earnest love. Your prudence, always loyal. Huh. Our prudent sake lives here. She writes well, and she also seems to be out of her mind. Who goes into the wilderness to write letters? I want to know where she learned to write so well. She loves her sister very much. Uh, Red... Redwood? Red work? Something. This, okay, there's three trees. All right, oh, I see, so here's a bridge, and then here's the town village thing that we're in, and we go this way, and there's gonna be a red tree, but over here, there are three trees, all right? No idea. Three oaks, it says. Could be where she's gone. Those are acorns on a table, seems likely. Nobody home, but the stew is bubbling. Of hunting for flavor for the stew, I hope. Hmm. I'll take her leather, though. Finder's fee for finding you wherever you've gone. All right, let's see here. Oh, hello. Something's pulsing here. Let me try something. This is unexpected. Is this house haunted by calculus? Okay, first off, if it was calculus, I would actually know what it is. I didn't go to school and get a fancy degree for no reason. Someone scrubbed the walls. Mrs. Hake must have seen the numbers. Aye, oh, didn't much like them. 
As a cook, this prudence hake makes an excellent letter writer. Mm. She's resourceful. That's interesting. Let's go find these oak trees and this haunted, well-lettered cook. Okay, it seems a few numbers are being repeated here. All right, well, keep that in mind. Gosh, I wonder what's happening here. The other one, like, we immediately started having guesses. Like, oh, did Nelly have a lover? You know, is that really fortune? This one, I don't know. Uh, we need to go this way. Probably through the crevice behind our house. I like that. Nope. It's just gonna smolder. That's fine by me. A secret path into the forest. This explains how she slips past the gates. Hmm. Oh, we've been here. Well, I don't remember if I showed you guys me coming here, but yeah, I ran around back here, found some stuff, and left. This area is a lot bigger than you think it is. I know it seems fairly straightforward, but I'm cutting out a lot of my running around. Ooh, that was a big jump. I don't feel like that was necessary. What if you had broken your leg? What's Antea going to do about it? She's dead. I guess we're going that way. Well, let me look over here first a little bit. Oh, this is back into town. Okay, well, we don't need to do that. Because Kate's gonna have to wait. Let's see here. Oh. Whispering trees discovered. Anything cool we can see as Antea? No. Oh, but there's a house over there with the fire. Oh, uh, I'm actually gonna go up here first, though. Because I see a hook fungus. Give me my fungus. Thank you. I love mushrooms. Hmm. Well, we're gonna go this way, I think. This feels fairly unnecessary, but I'm going to do it anyway. Oh, it's starting to rain. Interesting. Ooh, a chest. I love chests. Be adults. Nice. Oh, I again. We have a rope. You could you could tie things. Tie things on the rope. Oh, can we go back this way? No. Okay. Yeah, I know we could have just gone under the log, but where's the fun in that? Ooh. Wild shrivel. That doesn't sound good. That sounds decidedly bad. That's a place we can hang a rope, though. I don't see what's making that noise. Hmm. Hmm. Can't. No, we're gonna have to go around to go up, I bet. You know, the creepy noises are not necessary, right? Like, you don't have to make creepy noises. It's already creepy. Hmm? What fungus? Whoop. Where? Ah, oh, wolves. Whoop. Bloody mongrel. That up. Down, boy. Ha 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 ha. Okay. All right. I'm feeling it. And now that I've said that, I'm probably gonna muck up and finally die. Um. Wait. Where was I going? What was I doing? I could go up there. What's up there? Where are we? Map, please. 
Uh, oh? Okay, so I do need to go, but let, let's see what's up here first, just real quick. I'm just a little interested. I'm a normal amount of interested. If I don't find anything, I'll cut to where something else happens. What is that? What is that? I found them, like, everywhere, but I don't know what it is. You're what's making the scary sound. I wonder if that's, like, a cage for the spirits. Yeah, yeah, I see the glowy things, but I want to go to the house. Can I not go to the house from here? Hang on. Wait, seriously? Where am I? Aha! I'm at the house! Look at me go. What is this? Hey, that's a... that's an actual thing. Like, is that a room? I can't remember what the symbol of that is. The tracker. A strange wooden figurine found near a cursed chest in the Whispering Trees, west of the Hunter's Camp. I... okay. I, I don't know why I have that, but alright. Oh, this is where I fought the wolves. Okay. I know where I am now. If you're like, do you get lost very often? Yes. Remember, I behold. Do you hear a French woman? Yeah. Aye. And she's taking no shine. Well, she is French. She's having words with somebody. Okay, we'll check that out when we come back this way. Hello? Who is there? Come no closer! Easy, madam. I mean you no harm. Come no closer! Who are you? Why do you follow me? Red McCraith, at your service. The Banisher who lived. <laughs> For what little good it brought. Are you Prudence Hake? What do you want? She's skittish. Why? What are you doing out here in the woods? I have an engagement with the Queen of Spain. What does it look like I'm doing? You've seen the camp. We are starving. A day without bread is long, and acorns make a good enough flour. There are numbers behind her, see that? They look like some of the numbers that were in the cabin. I was sorry to hear of your husband's death. My Thomas was a happy man, whatever you may have heard. You've hit a sore spot. Press hard upon it. Who were you talking to just now? What do you mean? Just now. Your voice was raised, you were speaking French. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Don't pretend. I know French when I hear it. I've no idea what you mean. I'm from Kent, by way of Wales. Liar. You won't get her to say it, but Prudence Hake is secretly French. May I go now, Scotsman? I'll be plain, Mrs. Hake. I believe you need my help. I did not say I was Prudence Hake. She's stubborn. I like that. People are worried for you. I can help. People should know not to talk about me to a charlatan like you. I have troubles enough without you adding to them. I'm going back to camp. Good day, sir. She denies what's happening to her. We'll need proof. More numbers. They look new. Hmm. Okay, let's see here. As a cook, Prudence Hake makes an excellent letter writer. Prudence Hake is secretly French. Proud, intelligent, and educated, Prudence Hake is quick to retort. Although elegant, she is cagey and suspicious. The frown lines on her forehead tell a tale of hardship, hard thinking, or both. I like how they're like, she's definitely alive. Okay, so we all agree that it's like 
her husband haunting her, right? What is he just trying? Yet to more numbers. Let's follow the trail. Fine by me. I like where the numbers lead. I don't think they're coordinates. to go this way. Okay. Mrs. Hake seems suspicious to me. She was as suspicious of you as you are of her. There's a French woman doing here in New England in times of war. Hiding the fact that she's French, evidently. Hmm. Are they at war right now? Okay, I know... Oh, there's more numbers. I know the answer is they are pretty much always at war at this point in time. What is luck in here? Time to work, Vanisher. Okay. Oh, I see stains. Numbers. We're on the right track. Numbers. You scared the crap out of me, Antea. Godless, faithless. Oh, it doesn't like us snooping. Well, that's its problem. That's not a me problem. Pay. Is this a shift cipher? Uh, no, what kind of cipher is this? Crush gallnuts finely, macerate, use water as for ink, dry before folding. Action New Eden, seven tons, Mrs. Um, Fuakwe. Okay. Provisions. Okay, so it is a shift cipher. Oh my god, this is a bunch of ciphers. Okay, we're gonna do this. And I'm going to do this. If you're asking why am I doing this, it's so that when I'm in editing, I can go back and try to have a translation up if I don't have to translate it, like, right now. Okay. This is a cipher. Has Prudence Hake been sending encrypted messages? She reports the destruction of food rations arriving by sea in New Eden. That explains the burnt docks when we arrived. What now? More stains. Keep digging. Secretly French, Prudence ha Hake is a spy and a saboteur. She's responsible. Okay, well. Someone's been naughty. So, Prudence is a French spy, and a saboteur, too. But why would the ghost use her cipher? Maybe the ghost is a spy, too. I don't... But then why is he dead? What's up here, real quick? Oh, no, I bet this just to get out of this area quickly. Okay, let's press further in. Oh, I see a question mark though. Let's check out what that question mark is. Okay, so she's a sp French spy trying to sabotage the English colonies, which sure, alright. That's a fun way to spend like the 40 years you get on Earth right now. Oh. Oh, there's more there's more numbers. These are not threats. Now would be a good time to speak a few words of power, just to be sure. Spectral malevolence, more light attack and punch attack damage. 
summon Scourge, make manifest, hearkening. Um, this one? Maybe? Turn out and turn up! Nope. They never learn, do they? Whoop! Whoop! Stop that specter before it possesses the corpse. Which specter? Dang it. You're wasting your time on this one. Woo! Ow. Dirt! <sighs> not that one, not that one, this one. I told you, because I was like, oh yeah, I've definitely got this. All right, come on. All right. Elite defeated. Oh. 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 I was doing one of those. I see. Well. I thought I was advancing the quest line. No one ever said I was smart. Oh, that's pretty. Excuse me for a moment. I want to take... It has a photo mode, which is actually very nice. Oh, hello, you're over there. Why are you mad at me? I'm just trying to help. What? Wait. Watch out. Spectre possession. Yes, I hear you about the spectre possession, but I'm gonna be real honest with you, I'm kind of busy. Whoa. That one is shielded. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. That's not what I wanted. Hello. Oop. Heads up. Okay. We gotta get this one. Hello. Hello. Oh, you're bad. You're bad. You're bad. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. I don't want it. Okay, that one's shielded, I think. Woo! Beat her! Come on, come on, come on, buddy! Another one? No, okay, it was just right behind me for no reason. Ooh. Alright, things are getting a little harder. Probably because I need to upgrade things more. Um, that's going to be a way to drop back down. I think we need to go this way because this is where his ghost was. More messages. this? What is this? I sense the vivid oh. echo of a ghost's memory. <laughs> What's this? Thomas? You know I'll always love you, right? It was a Huguenot- Oh! Damn girl, you just had that sitting around? 
So he knew, but he loved her anyway. Oh, is he trying to still protect her now? Is he trying to protect her from us? Oh, his throat got slit. Out of love for Prudence sake, the ghost kept a heavy secret. Oh no! Oh no, I hope she didn't kill him. The closer you get, the more aggressive it becomes. Yeah, he's still trying to protect his wife. Poor guy. Thomas found her Huguenot seal. I don't think he knew she was a French Protestant. Maybe he's protecting her. The French aren't welcome on English land. This is not English land. Tell that to the English. Or to our ghost when we find him. Thank you, Antea. Oh god, okay, I gotta go this way. Yeah, I I think he knows she was a saboteur and spy and he's trying to protect her. They're warnings. Or cries for help. There. Watch out! Spectre was think you could take on a ghost. Woo! Ah! Oh, poor puppers. I don't like having to hurt. Canines in general. Take that, thank you. What is that? It's another tracker. I have two of these now. Okay. And it's that symbol again. What is that symbol? I know I've seen it before. Ugh. It's the hole in my brain from the cancer, guys. I just, I don't remember anything anymore. Uh, oh, by the way, we are approaching two years, so fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, two years, no more lumps in my brain that aren't supposed to be there. Uh, we're supposed to go this way. Let's go this way then. I am, like, hooked. I, I want to know what's happening here. <gasps> oh, no. Did another, like, a counter spy kill him? Is there, like, a way for me to get back there? Oh, that looks like a thing I have to be able to break with the... What are they called? The manifestation? Which I don't have yet. Oh, there's gonna be a, a, a lot of going back and... Oh, oh god. god! Okay. Fair. Listen, you don't know that I'm in my villain arc, and I'm definitely going to kill Prudence no matter what happens, because I am in my villain arc, but... Uh... A lot of things over that way. Buddy, I need you to calm down. Wait, we wish only to talk. Dude! Take your whispers and be gone! Mike. My brother in asshole. Get back up. Come on. Oh, I'm pulling it too far. Oh. Hi. Yes, that's what I wanted Your to funeral. do. Haha, uh -huh. I got you that time. Ooh. No, no, quit! Get out of there! Nice try, Thomas. Thomas, please, you are at like an 11 and I need you to be at like a 2. Give me stuff.
Thomas, I need you to calm down. Find what the ghost was protecting. <gasps> See, really, you've kind of... Oh, hey, there's a thing over there. Yeah, I know, I know. Hang on a second, though. I want to see what this is. I think it's a place to, like, level up and stuff. It's a fast travel. If you need a rest, this place is as good as any. Yup. Second wind. Hmm. Defeating an enemy with melee attacks restored 7% health points. Okay, I do like that. We're gonna be able to... We're gonna be able to upgrade it, so we'll see if it's as good. <gasps> Alright folks, give me just a minute to get some upgrades and shifting done. Okay. Picking up something spectral nearby. Ah, here it is. Look at you, unloved and godless, silent, worthless, blood guilty fool, forever never ending mercy by my loving kindness. No, I cannot. I will not. Prudence, forgive me. Silence is Thomas? Thomas, my god, no! What have you done? Stay, please, stay! An old chisel engraved with the words, Your love is ever enough, PH. This tie is dust. Oh. He took his own life. His were no ordinary nightmares. He died a gruesome death. No wonder he's still here. He is here. That's terrible. I can't believe the nightmare did that. I mean, I can't believe the nightmare. You know what I mean. I can believe the nightmare did that, but it's... Oh, man. Leave us be. Red McCraith, sir. I'm trying to help your wife, Prudence. Whisper not to me, you devil. Must we do this every single time? Yes. You take the lead then. All right, let's banish it. Be gone, devil! You'll not have her! Why the coded messages? What were you trying to say? The devil's whispers will come back. Forever she must flee. She must flee! Why would the whispers come for her too, Thomas? What aren't you telling us? Why are you here? Why aren't you running? Why isn't Prudence gone already? She'll listen if she hears it straight from you. Spoken plainly, mind you. No, no, not I. Not like this. When did the nightmares begin? No beginning, never ending. Let the whispers end forever. Let the whispers end. Let them end. Was there a face behind the voice? Or a dark figure floating over you, perhaps? Draining your life away? No, no, not but what we are. The creatures we all truly are buried in the darkness. Did you take a sleeping draught? A remedy, perhaps? Did Prudence give you something? Give? She gave me everything. I kept it. And I gave it back. Prudence is not who you thought she is. And yet you kept her secret. I know her. I love her. Even after she betrayed the colony, even knowing she lied to you. Perfect love cast death out fear, because fear hath torment. He that feareth 
is not made perfect in love. I promised to love her. A promise should be kept. You're killing her, Thomas. No. No, you're wrong. You're leeching the essence from her. She'll go insane, then she'll die. She needs me. She needs me. She needs me. He's lost his mind, and he's taken hers with it. He believes he keeps her safe. So we banish him, then she'll be safe. Whatever we do, Prudence has the right to know what's happening. We should tell her. Stay here. Maybe we can help. What are you doing here? Uh, looking out for your ass. Who exactly okay. were you talking to? Who? Me? Just now, you were talking to someone. Who was it? That's ridiculous. I'm alone here. No. Look at them. Don't play with me, Banisher. Now tell me the truth. I'm sorry, I must press you further on your husband. Thomas had bad dreams, did he not? I do not wish to talk about it. And I'm very good at not talking about things. He died a horrible death by all accounts. Forgive me, but that pain, that fear, it must linger. Of course it lingers. I loved him and he died. He's gone and I remain. Clarity can be painful. We resist it. Lay it out plain for her. I understand he suffered from terrible nightmares. Did you seek help? A physician, perhaps? Of course we did. Nobody helped. Nobody could help. Perhaps you wished for a banisher. Perhaps. But if wishes were horses, beggars would ride. At the siege of Vienna, we hanged wreckers. Mess with our grub, we'd gut you first. Aye. I found your secret code. You. You left those messages. What do you want? People here trust you. Not one of them knows you're a snake in the grass. If you think I'll stand you judging me, sir, then you surely don't know who or what I am. You can't maintain the pretense forever. Eventually the mask will crumble. Or be torn away. Who the English keep as enemies is only your business, Scotsman, if you make it so. Everyone's lives are our business. I can tell you the truth, but can you accept it? You rarely sleep. You wake exhausted. You feel drained, but blame it on the grief of your loss and the fear of your exposure. What do you know of me and my life? I know you're a spy. And I know your husband loved you very much. He found your cipher. His ghost writes upon your walls. There is no ghost here. What are you up to? Though Thomas may wish to protect you, his presence puts you in danger. He thought I was a threat to you. He tried to chase me away. He loves you very much, which is why he won't leave you alone. Is he here? Is, is Thomas here? He is. He wants you away from New Eden, away from danger. I have work here. Important work. Your king doesn't give two shites for New Eden. The war is elsewhere and will go on with or without you. Prudence, Thomas, it's time. Remember, we're in our villain arc. Wrong answers only. I really think the best thing would be to ascend Thomas, but we want our wife back, so... Thomas wishes you to live true. Far from New Eden, far from the English. 
After he died, he stuck around, trying to get you to change your ways. But you did not listen. I did what I had to do. They may call it treason. I call it loyalty. Then I hope you understand what I must now do. That would mean anything to me if I spoke French. Oh, I leveled up. Neat. And I got an essence. Also neat. There's another one of those things. They have to be something I can do stuff with in the future. Oh. I will say, I will say, I'm actually very much looking forward to replaying this, probably in my own time, just to do, like, the Ascension route. And I think that says a lot about the game that I'm I'm very interested in seeing. That was tough. I'd like to think I'd have done no different. As long as I draw breath, I'll do all I can to protect you. I know. But like I was saying, um, I'm actually really interested in seeing like what the other endings are. Because right now we're trying to resurrect Antea, but I'm also very interested in like what if I ascended everyone instead what if I took the other oath okay we are back at New Eden let's talk to Kate I think that's all we have left to do really oh well, there's something over that way I don't know it's like the cursed area that always makes me crash so I kind of don't want to go that way I am in fact going to hug this so I avoid the cursed area. Katie Kins. I bet she would kill you if you called her that. Like, I think she would straight up just shoot you if you were like, Katie Kins. I don't think she would go for it. Hi. So? I've done my rounds, as you asked. And? I found two hauntings in camp. Fixed them both. Two? Really? There are likely more, but those two at least are ended. All right. So, I'll thank you kindly, Mr. McWraith. You've done your part and earned your place. My sister should soon return. She'll surely want to meet you. Until then, you may stay. I'll take my leave. I do. That's... I ended the hauntings is certainly one way to put that. I, I did end the hauntings. I did do that. That is a thing that I did. I still can't go in there. I'm assuming that's Kate's place. Okay, what is there to do now? Rest and await Thick Skin's return. Is that really all I can do right now? I guess so. Alright, let's rest. What's happening here? <sighs> Kate came by. Thick skin is back and wants to see you. Why did she not wake me?
Perhaps she resented playing the messenger. Perhaps she just wanted to make you late. She was vexed. Thick skin return has upset her. Kate reminds me of my sister. Aoife. Mm, Clan McCraith's little spitfire. Always at my heels. Or giving father's guards all kinds of hell. <laughs> she was a wee thing. But strong. My big men in armour didn't they scare her. She had more brains than her. And more wild too. <laughs> Inspiring she'd beat me, Andy. She would have made a fine swordswoman, and she grown. Someday I'd like to meet my brother and sister. I'm sorry? You're what? Twins. By my mother's letters, they must be eight years old. You never told me this. You never asked. What are their names? Ugh. What? I'm interested, that's all. You're bothersome. Ayomi Day is my sister. Temi is my brother. I had no idea you got letters from home. My mother writes once a year. The letters take months to find me, if they find me at all. Until now, I've given it little thought. <laughs> Three Duarte children walk the world. God help us. Good boy. Now that you can count to three, we can move on to four. I hope the twins have more charm than you do. You know, that was my exact reaction to finding out my husband had two brothers. To be clear, I found out like in very short order, but I was already like, oh god, there's three of you. Did I mention thick skin was waiting for you? Yes, all right, all right. I'm that was, going. That was flashing like it was a thing I needed to do. But I already got it. Find thick skin. Uh. I can give no order, but you return from the hunt and countermand it. The order were wrong. You think me rash? You think... Oh. Lo, the halfpenny redeemer come to save us. Thou may enter, O oh great saviour. Don't take your sister shit out on me. Oh, she's lost two fingers. Excuse my sister. Underestimating her would be a mistake. She's tougher than you. You're alive. Long story short, you had an angry ghost in your meeting house. It was fierce. I fell in the sea. And they had died. Your lost pains is. But a good hunter should know when they've become the hunted. Is there news from New Eden Town? When you went to the meeting house, I gathered me flock and left. I've heard nothing since. Your faith in us gladdens my heart. I wasn't wrong, was I? 
But folk here still believe in you. What became of those who stayed? Dead, or near it. I'm neither foolish enough nor mad enough to go find out. She thinks you a madman, or a fool. Maybe I'm both. Don't crow. Foolish madmen abound. What about the missing group of refugees? What about them? Kate told me they went missing before reaching your camp. Any chance they survived in the woods? Not the slightest. Otherwise they would already be here. Those poor bastards are long dead. Where lies the future for you? For the camp? For the people here? The plan was to walk across the mountains, but the cold put an end to that. For now, we stay. Till the weather lifts. The weather and the fear. They must feel the sun on their faces again and courage in their hearts. Courage rises in the darkness, woman. The sunshine follows after. You didn't ask me here to watch you drink soup. What do you want? Kate says you have metal. I can use that. There's a service I need from you. You've something important needs doing and you want me to do it. No wonder your sister's fuming. Kate may wish her skin were thick as mine, but wishing will not make it true. Being the youngest can be a burden. Double when your big sister is the chief. I'm no chief. I keep my head, that's all. For this, folk look to me. Speak frankly. What would you have me do? Banish a ghost that doesn't exist. Folk here believe in monsters. The fear makes them weak. Kill the beast. Kill their fear and give them back their strength. Fear can be good. We can't spare much, but you shall have a gun and powder and shot with it. You know the curse is real. Why not the beast too? The beast is nothing much. A bear, perhaps a wolf. A monster only in the mind. Why not kill it yourself? Because when the Banisher kills the beast, everyone here will believe the monster dead. Tis honest work. I presume you'll pay for it. I have the means to pay you. My word on it. Hmm. <laughs> We'll see how that goes. I'll hunt your beast, whatever it is. If you answer one last wee question. You may ask it. What's with the name? No one rightly calls their daughter Thick Skin. My birth name be best forgotten. Thick Skin better suits the world. Fair enough. In the wild, we carry muskets. And we carry these. Whistle for help if the need be great. And the gun? My sister can spare her musket. If you can get it from her. Kate will be delighted. Kate will be hurt. I predict fireworks. You think Kate's feelings get in her way? Watch her reaction when you ask for the musket, then tell me I'm wrong. Okay, okay, hang on a minute. Haunting cases? The Newsmith sisters. All oh, right, let's see Kate here. Kate wishes to prove herself as tough as her sister. Okay, so we have been seeing people in the cutscenes wearing these whistles, so that's why. So they can whistle for help. I don't think I found the key for you. Oh, I did, I guess. What? Oh, a brooch, and I can upgrade it. Well, back to the campfire for me, after we talk to Kate. Oh, Kate, darling. Where did you go? Oh, 
There she is. Don't you have business elsewhere? Go, save us all from the beast. Go do my sister's char work. I need a musket. Thick skin said I should have yours. You'll rot in hell first, and so will she. This should be good. Are you so desperate to prove her wrong that you forget your own interest? You can climb your sister's pedestal or stamp your feet like a child, but neither serves you. What do you know of sisters? Enough to wish I'd not lost mine. I can't leave camp unarmed. She traps me. There's pain behind the anger. I doubt you'll blunt her temper. Your sister protects you. Be glad. She does not protect me. She constricts me. <sighs> Thick skin measures worth by metal. The strong will live and the weak will die. She chose you to hunt the beast with my musket. She doesn't have to say a word about what she thinks of me. I'll bring you back your gun. I swear on it. You won't make it to New Eden Town without a gun. And we both know it. I'm sorry. I wish there were another way. As do I, Scotsman. You may have the gun. Now be so kind as to leave me be. Alright. Let's see here. This Thick Skin's Creed is that only the strong will survive. The flint's a little tired, but she strikes fine. Unlike some, she won't go off half-cocked. I'll take good care of her. And she of me, no doubt. Okay, we're gonna head back really quick to take care of our brooch, and then we'll get started. So you want a map? Do you wish to sail the seas, or perhaps to know which way is Boston? Or do you wish to travel west and claim more land that is not yours? I just want to walk in the woods without getting lost. I will teach you to draw your map. So, mark the camp as your starting point. Trace the path along it, note each landmark, by journey's end, you have a map. But beware, you must know where is north. The sun rises in the east, journeys south, and sets in the west. See? We ain't seen the sun in a long time, Mistress Jane. Then, my friend, you shall need a compass too. You can pay me for that later, when you're back from your walk in the woods. Who might you be? Credence Scudder, sir. At your service, sir. And who are you, your lordship? I'm the banisher, Red McCraith. And while I welcome your civility, you may call me Red. A banisher? Have you come to save us from the beast? I'll try my best, son. Good. Good. Though, truth be told, you'll probably die. Many fled New Eden because of the curse. Why did you stay? Me? Oh, I don't know. I stayed because Cousin Beloved said so, I suppose. I always do what Beloved says. Things go better for me. He's sweet and lucky to have someone to take care of him. You're a man of loyalty. You must believe in your community very much. Do you mean people? Yeah. I love people. Really love them. Without people, well, I'd be alone. When things are bad, best stick close to them you know, don't you think? How are things going around here, Credence? We're all cold and hungry and afeard. We'd left New Eden so's we would live. But death's been at our doorstep every minute since. 
What can you tell me of thick-skinned Newsmith? Oh, she's very brave, sir. A fine leader. She scares me. What do you think of Kate? I don't know. She's not very nice. Beloved knows her better than me. How are people holding up? We upped and left without knowing if we'd make it. Now we're lost and hungry and stuck here in the woods. We're afraid, sir. We're all very afraid. A good day to you, Mr. Scudder. God grant you the same, sir. No, well, he's nice. We're probably gonna have to kill him. That's a shame. Hey, Jane, anything new? Jane. Banisher? Tell me, how are things going in camp? We left New Eden Town to escape the curse. Now we're trapped here. Kate and Thickskin work hard, but game is scarce, and hope is scarcer. I'll leave you then. Good day. All right. I'm trying to see if there are any side missions I can pick up in the meantime. Oh, I can open this door. Neat. I can go inside. I love going inside. What's in here? Uh, this is where... Oh, what's his name? I want to say Serpentis, but that's, uh, that's a completely different thing. That's not even a game. Okay, there's nothing in here right now. Oh, there's a lock symbol. Okay, so this is locked. Alright, there's a locked chest in here. Don't know what that's for. Goodbye. Can't go in there. Hmm. Hmm. Are there no side quests right now? That's a nice rug. I like that rug. I like that rug too. No one's in here that I can see. Nothing doing. That's uh, the forge. We don't need to go back there. Alright, well I guess we're going this way. Onward to adventure. The more I know Thick Skin, the more I like her. Is it a kind and friendly nature? Some would call her ruthless. But is she wrong? Aye, she's wrong. We survive when we care for each other. There's honor in that. Okay, so we're going this way. Oh, there's a bridge. And who might you be? Hello? Do you want to talk to me? Hi? No, you don't. Oh, yes you do. Climb down from your tree then, have you? Aye, with no help from you. What's your name, lad? Beloved Scudder, if you must know it. I see you found yourself a gun. Kate gave it to me. I'll check, you know. How are things going? One nosy Scotsman the fewer, and I'd like it a sight better. May I pass? If Kate gave you her gun, I suppose you may pass. But I don't counsel it. Bad things happen in the woods. Only thick skin walks safely out there. You and Kate walk the woods yourselves, do you not? Sometimes, and it's no gift. Kate's quick-tempered when she's not closed off. They say her heart were broke once. It never mended. Thank you for your time, Scudder. Good day to you. See you again, McCraith. If you're lucky. I'd dislike you more if I didn't know you were keeping that nice young man alive. Let's see here. Kate once had her heart broken and has never recovered. Lower the gate. Please lower the gate. All right. I guess we're off to find the beast. Behind Kate the Spitfire stands Kate the broken-hearted girl. Oh, 
Hurt people hurt others. Happens every day. Perhaps when this is over, she shall make peace with it. <laughs>